All right, just gonna do a simple uh, trick that I use for doing accents um, in languages. So like French and Spanish and languages like that. Uh, there's a lot of those accent markers. Um, so like for example, you have all these guys. Um, so the in uh, Spanish started means comments. So, um, but you'll know that there's the, oh, what is that? That one would be an acute. So it's an acute O. So <clears throat> with that, once you find out how to properly spell it with the accents, the links, et cetera, uh, you'll need to make sure you have Cricut Design Space open and a Word document. I have a uh, Word 2016, so it really just depends, but most layouts are the same. What you'll want to do is you'll type Kalenzo. Leaving the O because that's the the O is what needs to have the little acute over it. So what you'll do is you'll go to insert symbol on the far right, more symbols, and the symbol window pops up. So when browsing through, not every font package or bundle comes with the accent sets. Some of them do. Um, some of them don't. It really just depends. Like this one only has the alphabet. So you can use uh, like shapes that, I don't know, if you wanted, if you absolutely wanted this, you could do like circles from design space or little triangles or just find something that you can import yourself. So this current font is um, Bebas Nue. We whatever. <laughs> so then you'll notice you have all the characters. This all came with the font bundle um, when I bought it. So you have all the accents. So I'm looking for an O with an acute. So it's in alphabetical order, and you'll notice I have my O's macaron, and then I have my double Q, but I need a single acute. Where are the single ladies at? They're there. So here's my Latin small letter O with a cute for the Bebas Nui. Um, yeah, ignore that part. Uh, font set. So you'll notice down at the very bottom, there's shortcut key. Alt plus 0243. So what that means is that while you make sure to click either cancel. So there's one of two ways. So the first one is make sure to click cancel or just like click into the word page. And then you'll hold the Alt key on your keyboard. And you will type in zero, two, four, three. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, there we go. And you'll notice it gets it, puts it right in. Um, you can change the shortcut key if you do want to. Um, I like to leave a default. Unless it's uh, empty, then I'll just type in a bunch of numbers. So that's the one way. Or you can click all the words and letters that you need. Um, and so let's say I wanted the acute with the breve so then you'll just click the symbol letter that you want and hit insert and it insert it too so now you have to um i don't really th the think that you can copy that and go into word design space and paste it oh you can look at that so then you can usually copy and paste it um so i guess that works pretty pretty great so now i have start in Spanish, in the font that I want. Um, you'd have to do it. I have not found a way to where you can do it um, in Cricut Space. You like this is the only way that I found um, that works. So there's that. And like I said, if you uh, so let's move this to the right. And like as I go through, you'll notice not every uh, so like my Doshio uh, package has the O with the Q, but not the O with the you looking thing above it. So it really just depends on your package. Um, make sure you always correct your grammar on it because languages can be difficult and stuff like that. So then once you have that in, then you can make your design and voila. Um, so I really hope this was helpful. So yeah, there you go, ladies.